So before my mission, I wasn't very active. And I didn't go to church very often. But I always wanted to serve a mission. I didn't really know why. I just knew that I should probably serve a mission. And then when the time came, when I was about to turn 19, my mom was like, are you going to serve a mission? And I thought, yeah, I guess. It made me really think about it. So I thought about it for a while. I prayed about it, and I felt like I should go. I still didn't really know why, so I just started doing my papers. And during that time, I went to live with my grandma, and I worked with my uncles to help pay for my mission. So I served in Mexico, and I was in the MTC in Provo. And while we're in the MTC in Provo, it's really calm, really peaceful. Everyone's spiritual. Everyone's a missionary. It's a great experience. It really is one of the greatest parts of your mission is being in the MTC, watching apostles speak, being inspired, learning of the gospel. For me, learning a new language, which was really difficult but very rewarding. But that first day, when you leave, the pl when you leave on the plane and you're flying down to Mexico or wherever you're going, it's kind of scary because what you've known for the past, for me it was nine weeks, what you've known for the past nine weeks is very spiritual. Everyone's friendly. Everyone's the same. You get lots of food. And then all of a sudden you're on a plane. I remember we were learning Spanish together and we thought, oh yeah, we've mastered it. We're so good because we could have conversations back and forth with our teachers and with ourselves. And we're like, oh, we're good. We're so good. And then we get on the plane. The Everything's in English. You know, we're flying to Mexico. And then once we're getting ready to land in Mexico, the flight attendants start speaking in Spanish. And we're like, uh, what is she saying? We had no idea what she was saying. And that freaked me out. I was like, wow, I am not ready for this. I did not study good enough, but I did. And even though we were stressed because we couldn't understand what they were saying, we got off the plane, the mission president was there with his assistants, and they picked us up. And I was kind of shocked at Mexico. We landed and there was military personnel with rifles, you know, just doing whatever they do. That was kind of scary, but it was fine. I knew we were safe. Then uh, the mission president, he took us home to his house. We had dinner. His wife made dinner. Also, I remember when we were in the, M the MTC, you're on like a spiritual high. You feel so spiritual and so good all the time. And then leaving that environment, going to Mexico, and landing, and stepping off of that plane, I had a, an experience where you can, where I felt, I felt the country. I felt the land. I felt the people. I felt how much the gospel was needed. I felt how how sad some people were. And I felt an urgency to share the gospel with them. It's a completely different environment than the MTC and even the United States. So the president took us to his house and he sat us down with a bunch of other missionaries who were our potential trainers. And he had some fun games that we played and we tried to guess our trainers and it was a fun experience. None of us really spoke Spanish very well, but uh, the president made it fun. And then the time came and he said who my trainer was and I was like, whoa, I didn't expect that. I thought it was going to be this other guy because they already know, they already know who they're going to train and who they are. So they try to trick you and one of the other elders is like winking at me like, hey, yep, I'm going to be your trainer. Hey, yep but he totally fooled me. My first day and my first week, well, my first month was really stressful because the language was very hard. But I remember I studied hard while I was in the MTC. I didn't get it all, but I just tried to memorize and practice as much as I could. And I prayed that the Spirit would help me to learn the rest. It was, it was really hard for me. I struggled in the MTC and I struggled for my first week, my first month. It's different for everybody. But when I got to our apartment and with my companion, we struggled with the language for a little bit, but I just remembered thinking and remembering that the Spirit can help you learn all things and it can bring back anything to your memory. I remember thinking that in, that in the MTC, I would be trying to learn the language or I'd be frustrated, like, I don't get this, it doesn't make sense. 
but I had this feeling that I just needed to read the rules anyway, read about the language anyway, and that in the mission field it would all come back to me and the spirit would do that. It seemed kind of silly to me at the time, like, well, I don't understand it, I'm not going to remember it. But I remember, especially my first week and my first month, it was crazy how much stuff started coming back to me. Like we would talk about something or something would happen and be like, boom, boom, boom. Things would just pop back into my memory from the MTC of things that I thought I wouldn't remember. And I remember after about a month of being in Mexico, I felt comfortable with the language. Comfortable enough to have a full on conversation with people. I couldn't talk about things in real depth, but I could talk about the gospel and get to know people pretty well. So it's important that you try to learn everything that you can, while you can, and just don't stress about it, don't worry about it, because the Spirit will make up for what you can't do. The Spirit will bring back to your memory things that you've learned or things that you try to learn. As long as that information is in your head, the Spirit can bring it to you. So just put the information in your head.